as we studied earlier that you can study diversity at different levels of the organization starting from the macromolecules till the biomes so from the macromolecules organelles are formed organelles tissues uh, sorry cells then tissues then organs organ system organism population and it will go till biomes but now children here in this chapter biodiversity and conservation we are going to study diversity at three different levels genetic level species level and the ecosystem level the first one is genetic diversity genetic diversity as the name itself suggests genetic diversity means the changes in the genetic makeup of the organisms say there are a variety of dogs we have labrador we have alsatian we have a uh, french mastiff american mastiff these all breeds are different from one another but they are all the same they are within one species so same way here we have the variation at the genetic level in the species but the species remains the same it is within one species so variation at the genetic level in species is called genetic diversity which is also termed as alpha diversity secondly if we see in india there are various varieties of mangoes we have seen and there are thousand varieties of mangoes which are present in india now this is important this number thousand varieties of mango as it is documented in ncert and it is important from the perspective of examination second 50000 varieties of rice is found in india so these the varieties are different the species is the same when i say the species is the same it means the scientific name remains the same there is a plant named rovolfia vomitoria this plant rovolfia vomitoria is the native plant of sudan and tanzania we have to write in this manner when we write with hand with the uh, principle of the nomenclature that the first letter of the genus is always capital and the first letter of species is written in the small alphabet and we have to separately underline the genus and species so when you write the answer in the examination please write in this manner itself so this plant zovalfia vomitoria is the native plant of sudan and tanzania which is also found at different altitudes of himalayas now this plant zovalfia vomitoria they have different varieties so say if we go from the lower regions of the himalayas to the higher altitudes the variety changes now the question arises how does this variety changes when the plant is the same what changes the variation in this plant so the variety in vomitoria is classified by a chemical known as reserpine so this vorovalfia vomitoria has a chemical called reserpine within it and that chemical is all obtained from the root bark of the plant so as we go from the lower altitude to the higher altitudes of himalayas the potency of the reserpine increases when i say potency potency means the power the power of the chemical reserpine it increases as it goes to the higher altitudes so the potency of this chemical is different in plants of same species found at the different levels what does this chemical is important for this reserpine is an is an alkaloid chemical it is important to treat hypertension snake bite and cholera now to remember this we have a short form as we say higher secondary school that is hsc higher secondary we can remember it in the same way hsc h for higher hypertension s for snake bite and c for cholera now the second is species diversity species diversity is also termed as beta diversity that means the number of species 
in a particular region or in a uh, particular area is called as species diversity. So number of species in a particular region is called species diversity. For example, if we see Western Ghats of India and Eastern Ghats of India, if we compare both these Ghats, the Western Ghats have the different species of amphibians, Eastern Ghats also have different species of amphibians. However, the species of amphibians found in the Western Ghat is much higher compared to the species of the amphibians found in the Eastern Ghats. So, species of amphibians in Western Ghat is much higher compared to the species of amphibian in the Eastern Ghat. So, that means it defines or it tells about the number of the species in a particular region. When we say particular region, we have taken here the example of the Western Ghat and the Eastern Ghat and we have compared both of them. Thirdly, ecological diversity, we can also say ecosystem diversity or we can say gamma diversity. The variation in species richness in different ecosystems of the geographical area is called ecological diversity or ecosystem diversity. So here, here we are talking about the variety of species found in one ecosystem and the variety of the species found in the another ecosystem and we are comparing both of them. Now if we look at the bigger regions, bigger areas, suppose we talk about India and Norway. Norway is the country uh, in uh, Europe and India is there. Now India has got various ecosystems. When I say various ecosystems, India has got a variety of flora and fauna in the ecos different ecosystems such as desert ecosystem, we have got grassland ecosystem, we have got rainforest ecosystem, we have got uh, deciduous rainforest ecosystem, and uh, we have got marine water ecosystem, we have got fresh water ecosystem. So we have got plenty of ecosystems. So the variety of the ecosystems, we have a lot in India. So here, there are so many varieties of ecosystem in India compared to Norway. Norway mostly has got only grassland ecosystem. So the plants and the animal species found in different ecosystems in India is a lot more compared to the flora and fauna found in the Norway because we have got more of the variety of ecosystem compared to the Norway. So as the ecosystem changes, the number of the species also fluctuates. So more ecosystem, more number of species. Less ecosystem, less number of species. That defines the ecological diversity. So we have studied today the genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecological diversity. In the next video, we are going to study about the distribution of different invertebrates and vertebrates animals and plants and different charts about it.